talk about emotions. Now we get different types of emotions. The first emotion we are going to talk about is love. Now the emotion love is when we care about someone or when we like being in this person's company. Now I have the word for you and this is how we spell it. As you can see this is the word love. Now, the next thing I want you to do is can you show me if you can show me love? Can you show me love? How do you show me love? Another common emotion is sadness. Now, when we are sad, we are usually unhappy or we are depressed. Then you'll say, my heart aches or my heart is sore. And uh, that is how it is spelled. Can you say the word? Sadness. Now I want to see you showing me sadness. Another emotion class is surprise. Now, when we are surprised, we realize something that we did not expect. Meaning, we are happy to see someone. The following emotion is shock. Now, shock is an unpleasant realization. The first one I'm going to show you. This is how surprise is spelled. Can you say the word? Surprise! Now, I want you to say the word surprise and then I want to, while you are saying the word, I want you to sh show the word surprise. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> this is how we spell shock. Say the word. Shock! Very good. Now, my next word, or my next emotion is awe. Now, we don't usually use this emotion, but I'm going to explain it. Now, awe, when you use the emotion or the expression awe, is when you are impressed in what you see or what somebody did, then you say the word awe. Awe. Can you, this is how it is spelled, can you say it? Awe. awe. My next emotion class is confusion. Now when you are confused, you do not understand what is happening or what is being said, then you are confused. Remember, when you do not understand something or when you do not understand what is happening, you are confused. And this is how we spell the word. Can you say the word? Confusion. Very good. Now show me confusion. What does this word say? Happiness. Now, happiness means a joyful feeling. Now, being joyful, say the word again. Happiness. Let's try again. You remember, you are happy. Now say the word as you feel it. Happiness! Very good. Our next emotion is pride. Now, pride means when you are proud of something that you did. 
For example, you passed English with an A, then you feel proud. But now this word is spelled pride. And can you say the word? Pride! Now, show me. Remember, you got an A for English. Class, our last emotion that I'm going to talk about is loneliness. Now, loneliness means when you think you do not have friends or when you feel abandoned. You are all alone. And this is how we spell the word loneliness. Can you say the word? Loneliness! Now, you think you have no friends. How will you look like? Class, now we are going to do something fun. In front of you, I place the ball of clay. Now I'm going to give you a few minutes to use this clay and shape it into an emotion. These, these emotions that we did this morning, I want you to shape this ball of clay into any emotion you would like to shape it. like you to show the creation that you have made with that clay. I want you to show it to each and every one of us in class and then I want you to tell us why you made that creation or meaning why you made that emotion that your clay represents. You can just put up your hand if you want to, want to tell us. 
This is a happy face. I'm happy because I can sit in the class and do my work. And when I'm finished with school, support my mom. It's a sad face because my mom died. This is a sad face. I make this face because I feel every day sad. This is a happy face. I made it because I have everything in life without this fault. Yes, I made this face. The face is surprised. I made it because I feel surprised. My mother buy me a new bike. Yes. <laughs> now, through all your creations, I can see that you understood what I have explained to you about emotions. And some of you are really very creative. Viewers, welcome to Program 3 in our English video learning series for Grade 6. From the Hardup Educational Multimedia Project in Namibia, our lesson today is about poems. Specifically, how poets express emotions in poems and how we respond to those poems. We hope that by the end of this lesson, you will be able to understand and respond to key aspects expressed in poems. Give short but detailed descriptions of two to three characters in the text and respond to attitudes and emotions expressed by the poet by role playing. Enjoy the program with us. There is not much that I can do, for I have no money that's quite my own. Spoke up a pudding child, a little boy with a guitar. At the station before the train came in. <laughs> But I can play my guitar to you in a nice wonders and go in tour. Oh my, oh my Pick up oh. your feet. Oh. Oh, let me rest a bit here. Oh, my feet is paining. Oh. One minute. Oh. Only one minute. Time's up, we have to go. Come, move your feet. Pick up the pace. Get away from it. You wait here.
When we read or hear a poem, we listen to it according to our own individual experiences in life. Look at these learners. They do not yet know which poem the teacher is going to read to them. But they will listen to it, each and every one, according to his or her life experiences. The effect the poem will have on them depends on how the story in the poem makes them relate or think back to similar things in their own life. Different people are affected differently by the same poem read to them. Let's see what happens. Klaus, now I am going to read an interesting poem to you. The title of this poem is at the railway station Upway and uh, the person who wrote it was Thomas Hardy. I would like you to listen carefully. There is not much I can do for I have no money that's quite my own. Spoke up the petting child, a little boy with a guitar. What is the matter, innocent? I feel sad, miss. Really? And why is that? Yes. He is a blessed and I'm very well, miss, and they are quite cool in his house. I think he said because he thinks he's like that boy. Sometimes I also have to make plans to eat because I have no money. I'm sorry to hear that, innocent. Can we continue? Are you okay? Yes, miss. station before the train came in. But I can play my guitar to you and a nice one, tis, and good in tone. But you, Elaine, at the same time, innocently sad, you are smiling. How come? I'm just so impressed with that He looks so poor. You don't expect him to play so well. That's right. It is easy to be impressed by the strength of soul. Peter, you look sad. When you think of the boy, how do you feel? But miss, I also feel that I'm the boy. Not because he is poor or he plays the on the guitar. I think he's just lonely like me. Yes, I can understand that. The poet expresses a feeling of loneliness.